Late wickets see Gloucestershire stumble after Vessel 72. Gloucestershire are in an unenviable position as the incumbents in third place in Division 2 bear in the crosshairs for a number of the league's promotion chasing sides. Their hosts, Worcestershire, however, are not one of those teams and will have one eye on their upcoming trip to Edgbaston for finals day. That could afford the visitors an opportunity to solidify their promotion ambitions. Blackfinch New Road was one of many grounds affected by gloomy clouds and drizzle, the start delayed by the inclement weather. It meant Gloucestershire's decision to field first was a straightforward one, knowing the conditions would favour bowling. And that's how it turned out. Payne continuing his fine form with the ball to see Mitchell depart for 10, courtesy of a leaping full-stretch catch from Tom Smith at third slip. Rutherford was next, falling to the very next ball, trapped LBW by Higgins. Two balls later, Milton was gone, Higgins making a mess of his stumps. And with Worcestershire edging towards 50, Payne picked up his second, Haynes pinned LBW for eight. The home side would scrape past 50 to finish the first shortened session of play, 63 for four. Cox departed shortly after the resumption of play, another sharp Smith catch giving Higgins his third of the match. Ricky Vessels did well to halt the Gloucestershire progress, he and Ed Barnard finding a useful partnership that took the home side through to three figures. But Gloucestershire found themselves back on top, Barnard caught behind as Charlesworth struck with his third delivery of the day. And Vessels fell with his score approaching 200, Shaw with his first wicket of the contest. Joe Leach followed shortly after, Dent taking the catch for Shaw's second. Higgins bowled Pennington for nine to leave Worcestershire nine down for under 200, but they would pass the milestone, Finch now joining Morris. Payne would wrap up the Worcestershire innings, Finch bowled for 17 and T taken with the fall of the final wicket. Chris Dent and James Bracey wouldn't fare much better than Worcestershire's opening pair. Bracey was the first man to fall, edging Barnard to Cox to depart for 23 early on. Chris Dent would join him, Barnard with both openers wickets. Miles Hammond and Tom Smith would stay together long enough to see Gloucestershire pass 50, but Smith fell soon after, LBW to Mitchell for 9. Hammond followed shortly, Barnard picking up his third scout by way of another edge through to Cox. Roderick and Charlesworth pumped the brakes, recognising the need for Gloucestershire to dig in as the close of play loomed. They would reach that, 13 runs short of three figures, trailing Worcestershire by 134 runs. The visitors had enjoyed themselves with the ball, but Vessels had batted well in testing conditions to ensure Worcestershire posted a competitive total. They'll probably be the happy of the two sides, but Gloucestershire tend to bat relatively deep and preventing the visitors from finding their feet will be paramount to the home side's chances on day two.